Alright guys, welcome to your 11th computer networking tutorial and in this video what I want to do is now that we understand the basics of a protocol it's basically the rules for successful communication among two parties. In the last tutorial we looked at a guy talking to a girl but now let's go ahead and like I said relate this to computer networking and we'll say that you are on your MacBook so here's a MacBook with a screen and we'll draw a little keyboard right there wow this is a pretty terrible looking MacBook but oh well so this is your Mac over here and we'll say that you wanna you know view a website or something so web server is gonna look something like this so again unlike the last example where we had a guy talking to a girl trying to get his number now we have a Mac talking to a web server trying to get a website it's kind of like the dating for computer networks I don't know I, I don't even know why I said that's pretty stupid but now let's go ahead and look at a conversation between two computers trying to get a website so this is basically what happens whenever you request a website if you're on your Mac the first thing it does is it asks the web server can I connect to you so this is the first kind of uh, exchange and what the web server does is if it has permission then it says yes for example if it's a web server if it's a personal home server it's gonna of course say no but since this is a web server we'll say it's I don't know my web server for the new boston.org best website ever by the way the web server is gonna go yes you have my permission now the Mac now knows that it now has the authority to connect so now what it's going to do is it's going to request the file which is of course the web file so it can view the website so it's going to send a request that looks like this get and we'll talk about why I wrote get in a little bit file and the file is just going to be you know the new Boston dot org um, slash index or like tutorials.php or something like that so this is basically the file that it's asking for and in return of course the web server sends the file to the Mac and of course the Mac interprets it views it as a website everyone is freaking happy so let's go ahead and take a step back and learn why this exchange was successful well first of all this works because both of the computers the Mac and the web server they knew the rules they followed the same protocol or the same set of rules now in computer networking both the computers this one and this one they must follow the same protocol or else you can't have a successful communication you can't have computer networking at all now of course it was a lot easier to understand whenever we we're talking about human beings the different rules but the protocol pretty much the protocol in computer networking is the format and we'll look at this later it's different for every protocol the format and the order of messages those are two big ones so of course if this Mac um, you know asked for a file before it even had permission this exchange wouldn't work or you know if the web server was trying to send a file in this Mac over here it didn't even ask for a file yet then of course you know things would get really messy and computer networking would not be possible if you know every web server in the world was just sending random files out probably you know the internet wouldn't be as successful as it is today so that's the basics of what a protocol is in computer networking and also you know a human being protocol basically a set of rules that both computers must follow in order to have a successful communication now let me go ahead and show you guys something else real quick that's pretty cool and uh... you guys may have seen this before this protocol right here well i'll talk about the different types of protocol in a second but whenever you look at um... a url you're gonna see something like h TTP and let me write these in different colors uh, www dot the new probably gonna run out of room boston dot org and what's another color I didn't use and we'll just write like slash index dot php 
so now if you guys you know used to type in URLs and you guys didn't really know what you're typing in now you have enough knowledge of computer networking to understand everything the first part right here this HTTP this is the protocol hopefully it protocol protocol wow I cannot spell so this is actually a hyper text transfer protocol and again like I said there are a lot of different protocols or sets of rules in computer networking whenever you want to request a website you know from the world wide web or the internet this is the protocol or the, or the rules that your computer has to use this right here www.thenewboston.org this is actually the name of your server server name because remember a server is just a special computer so of course whenever you want to ask for a file which is this part right here a file from a computer that's somewhere out in the world you need to know again the address of the computer because you just don't want to ask random computers for files only a specific computer so this of course is the file so again whenever you want say to look at a website on my webpage yeah, that's what, or a web page on my website rather. What you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, I want to ask this server for this file, and I'm going to use this protocol, which is basically the set of rules that my server knows. It's already set up. Whenever you request a website, this is the rules that you must follow. So, again, hopefully, you guys understand a little bit about protocols, and if you don't, and this goes for the rest of my tutorials if you guys have any questions then just go ahead and ask me on Facebook or Google Plus or even Twitter or the best place is probably my forum on my website because if I don't answer you there are thousands of other people willing to so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe yada 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 I'll see you guys in the next video